intriguing plots and betrayals are abound in soap operas. Families fight, business partners betray one another, lovers deceive and love triangles develop. YNR has numerous breathless plot twists, but frequently what happens off-screen is just as dramatic as what happens on screen. Here are some of the real-life altercations of YNR. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Eric Braden vs. Peter Bergman On The Young and the Restless, Victor Newman and Jack Abbott have a long-standing feud and frequently did terrible things to one another. What most of you may not know is that this on-screen rivalry created tensions between the stars in real life too. Peter Bergman told Michael Fairman TV, Eric and I had a number of problems when I first came here and they climaxed in an ugly situation that Eric wished would never have happened and I certainly could have done without it in my life. He went on to say that he and Eric worked together for 20 years and had this enmity that the audience clearly loved. However, he mentioned that they work together just fine. They often meet at events together and are seen praising and encouraging one another in several interviews. Braden also revealed, There was a time when I said to Peter, Look, we may not like each other, but we are both good for the show. Regardless of how their on-screen characters interact with one another, it appears that the two Weiner actors now have a great working connection. Weiner cast vs. Mal Young a shocking report of the terrible workplace environment at Weiner came out in 2018 under the former head writer Mal Young. It was claimed that female actors were quitting because of their workplace that tolerated harassment and verbal abuse. Several female cast members including Michelle Morgan, Eileen Davidson and Crystal Khalil resigned at the time along with a female casting director. Victoria Ravel vs CBS Victoria Ravel, who played Drusilla Winters on YNR, claims CBS, Sony Pictures Television, Bell Dramatic Serial Company, and Bell Philip Television Production Inc. were categorically refusing her to let her back on YNR or BNB in a filed lawsuit in federal court in NYC. Ravel had also charged the makers for not having enough African American cast and crew, including the writers, producers, and other crew members. It shouldn't be that way, she commented on the Wendy Williams show. She filed a lawsuit against the producers which was settled out of court and the case was dropped in 2017. While Rawal has publicly spoken about multiple events that contributed to her distress, there is one particular feud that fans might remember. Apparently Rawal was also feuding with Michelle Stafford who allegedly spit on her during filming. She went on to say that the former co-executive producer Ed Scott was in on it and encouraged Stafford's move. Watch our previous video for details on the infamous feud between Rawl and Stafford. Michael Money vs. YNR Michael Money, who portrayed the role of Adam Newman, spoke out on Twitter demanding an apology from TMZ. He responded to a supporter who brought up a 2014 TMZ claim that Michael had been let go from YNR for making unwanted approaches to Hunter King. Michael abruptly left the popular CBS daytime drama after allegations of sexual harassment and said disputes came to light. Michael Money vs. Eric Braden Michael Money seems to have had problems with Eric Braden too. As the issues regarding the case of harassment by Money on Hunter King sparked, another issue with Eric came. He seems to suggest that he had issues with Eric Braden on the set of YNR. Braden also claimed that Michael wanted him to get off the show. As he went on to explain what happened, he told that there were yelling bouts and Michael reportedly waged a war against Braden in an effort to get him fired from the program. I was prompted to get into fisticuffs with him because he wanted me off the show. It was Money who wanted to get me off the show, Braden said. Brenda Dixon vs. William J. Bell Brenda Dixon alleged that Weiner creator William J. Bell banned her after 15 years on the show because they had a covert relationship. He then hired mafia cartel judges and attorneys to ruin her life, causing chaos. Dixon ultimately filed a $10 million lawsuit claiming that she was fired because of their affair in an effort to regain her position. She further said that Bell had put her on a blacklist as a result of their relationship, making it difficult for her to get acting jobs. Did you know that real-life friends Beth Maitland and Don Diamond didn't get along when they first met? Watch our previous video to know why. Thank you for checking this video out. 
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.